At this hour, we're getting reports of injuries in Ukraine's eastern city of Slavyansk, where police operations underway against protesters occupying administrative buildings. Protests against the interim government in Kiev are gathering steam in the east. Activists are thought to be in control of the administration, police and security offices in nine cities now. Uh, let's show you some images we're getting from Slavyansk. This footage was posted on YouTube. Uh, this blog post built by protesters at the city entrance was set on fire uh, as they tried to hold back special forces there. And we've also got pictures of armoured vehicles converging on Slavyansk. And here you can see a helicopter also seen flying above Slavyansk. It's apparently carrying weapons. Artis Maria Finoshina is following the developments in the region for us. Kiev has announced that it started what it calls an anti-terror operation against protesters occupying governmental buildings in the town of Slavyansk here in Donetsk region, including local police headquarters. We hear from the country's interior minister that all types of forces and units are taking part in this operation. We hear from local residents that they see helicopters flying over the town and gunfire heard in the town as well. Well, Slavyansk is just one of numerous cities and towns here in eastern Ukraine where protesting against the authorities in Kiev, asking for more independence from the center, activists occupied governmental buildings. Here in the city of Donetsk, in the building that you can see behind me, uh, the, 11, the big 11-story building uh, that used to be uh, home to the regional administration is still now taken by uh, similar groups of protesters and they are also fearing that uh, there will be a special operation against them and they are waiting for it every day and night. We have been able to speak to those inside this building and this is my report from there. We are now inside what used to be the Donetsk Regional Administration and what has become recently the epicenter of anti-Kiev protests. This is where those who do not recognize the country's new authorities gather and this is from where they declare the creation of Donetsk People's Independent Republic. This republic has its own forces aimed at protecting them. They are masked men that we can see here and there. They're mostly formed from civil volunteers but there are also police and army defectors among them. We defend our motherland from the fascist army that's going to kill us. We can see here and there modes of cocktails, for example. People say they will do their best to avoid any violence, but if there is violence against them, they will be forced to use these things. This is after what happened in the original capital of Kharkov. People say here that they fear the repetition of this scenario. Police there cleared in a very violent way, all governmental buildings taken earlier by similar groups of uh, protesters, detaining s at least 70 of them. I only have a stick to defend myself. They are coming armed with machine guns and all I had yesterday, for example, was a chair leg. Donetsk is a very large city, it's known as Ukraine industrial capital. Around one million people live here, while the Donetsk region is home to the tenth part of the country's population. And today, in this building, there are representatives of almost all major cities and towns of this region, mostly mine workers and employees of the region's numerous factories and enterprises, and each region occupies its own floor in this 11-story building. We are for social justice. The creation of our republic means drastic changes in the way our territory is organized. We are for equality of languages. We are against the oppression of the majority by the nationalist minority. The Donetsk region sends about $470 million to Kyiv and less than 150 million returns. All the mines and enterprises in Donetsk are prosperous. Organizing the referendum over the region's status is among the key goals of the newly declared republic's authorities. Marif Noshnati from Donetsk, Ukraine. Well, journalist Graham Phillips is in Slavyansk for RT following the operation against the protesters occupying government buildings there. He describes the atmosphere there as highly tense. Protesters are reinforcing barricades near the occupied buildings while crowds rally in the city centre resisting the crackdown. You can follow Graham on Twitter for all the latest updates and pictures from the area.